I recently noticed that there seems to be a delay in the heart rate detection of the Apple Watch Ultra. And in this video, I'm going to systematically investigate if this is indeed the case. In previous videos, I've shown that the Apple Watch Ultra is one of the most accurate heart rate trackers out there. However, this is based on the heart rate you see in the health app after you complete your workout. Now, the problem I noticed has to do with the live heart rate that you can see on the screen of your Apple Watch Ultra. Now, just looking at it while I was training, I felt it didn't match up exactly with the heart rate that was being recorded by the ECG chest strap. And it even seemed to be a bit different from the heart rate as the Apple Watch stored it in the health app afterwards. Now, my thinking was that the heart rate in the health app might have been processed further and therefore be different from the live heart rate shown on the Apple Watch screen. So in this video, I'm going to use a bunch of computer code data science, image recognition, and two GoPros to figure out if there's any issues with the live heart rate tracking of the Apple Watch Ultra. And what I found is likely not gonna be an issue for many people, but it will be for some. Hello everyone. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. I've had the Apple Watch Ultra for about four months now, and it's honestly an amazing piece of technology. In many of the tests that I've shared with you on this channel, we've seen that the Apple Watch Ultra is one of the best heart rate trackers that is currently on the market. And as far as I know, everybody that has tested the heart rate tracking accuracy of the Apple Watch Ultra relies on the data that is being recorded in the Apple Health app or another connected app like Strava, which is in the end connected to the Health app again. I also use this data in all of my testing and this is what the positive reviews are based on. However, I recently noticed while I was doing a spinning workout on my bike that the heart rate reported by my ECG chest strap did not agree as well with the heart rate reported on the screen by the Apple Watch Ultra as I would have expected. So I started thinking, it could be that the raw heart rate signals detected by the Apple Watch Ultra are reprocessed in the health app, giving it a better final accuracy and it's not as good on the display. Or it could also be that there's some delay in the live heart rate shown on the Apple Watch screen, so it's correct but a few seconds behind. So I decided to dig in deeper and investigate exactly what's going on here. However, to do that, I do need to somehow capture the heart rate as it is displayed on the Apple Watch itself. Now, there are many potential ways one could think of to do that. I could, for instance, quickly type in the heart rate when it changes on the screen, but that will not be very accurate. I could try to take a video with my phone, but holding it for that long is kind of annoying. Or I could, for instance, shout the heart rate at my Alexa, but that's just honestly an objectively horrible idea. Plus, Alexa and me are not really on speaking terms right now, since for some reason she decided to just speak German to me ever since I moved here to Austria. Yeah, ja, aber klar doch. Now, in the end, I did come up with an idea that I thought was a decent plan, though. I decided to attach a GoPro to my forearm and have it take a picture of the Apple Watch Ultra screen every second. Next, I wrote a bunch of computer code that can recognize the text in each image, and that way I can extract the heart rate as shown on the screen. Now, the final piece of the puzzle is to extract the EXIF timestamp of the image to get the exact time that the heart rate was recorded. And that seems like a good idea, right? Well, no, not exactly. The problem is that the images are taken at a very steep angle, and that doesn't play very well with the text recognition I used in my computer code. So I needed to find a way to get the camera straight above the screen of the Apple Watch Ultra, so the screen would be captured head on. Luckily, I did find a solution, so I went into AutoCAD to design a rig that can stably hold my GoPro above the Apple Watch Ultra. So let's now go to my 3D printer to print out the parts that we need. Uh, psych, no, I'm not that kind of YouTuber and I don't own a 3D printer, unfortunately. But what I do have are chopsticks, tape and a big imagination. And if we combine those things, we get this beautiful rig, I guess. I know it doesn't look great, but it is able to keep the GoPro above the Apple Watch Ultra. But I hear you asking, Rob, is it stable? And to that, I can give you a clear answer. Yeah, um, but it works, it, it does work. So let's test it during an indoor cycling session of about 45 minutes. And here you can see some of the images that it recorded. We end up with about 1,500 of these images, which you do not want to go through by hand. So we're going to use some computer code to analyze this. Now I'm not going to bore you with all of the details, but I am going to bore you with some of the details. I actually use OpenCV to rotate the images turn them black and white, extract the relevant section and warp the perspective. 
I then used the Tesseract software to extract the text from the images, and I wrote some regular expression magic to get the heart rate values out. And after all that work, we finally have the actual heart rate as it was shown by the Apple Watch Ultra on the screen during the workout. So let's see how that compares to the heart rate as it was reported in the health app. That is displayed right here for this first indoor interval cycling session I did. Along the horizontal axis we have the time and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. Now the red line is the heart rate as it was shown on the display of the Apple Watch Ultra. Now there are a few missing data points like right here for instance where the text recognition algorithm wasn't able to extract my heart rate from the image but it generally worked quite well. And if we now plot the heart rate of the Apple Watch Ultra as it was stored in the Apple Health app in the same plot but now in blue, we indeed see that both of these lines seem to agree very well. And at a first glance at least, it does appear as though the Apple Watch Ultra displayed the same heart rate live on the screen as it would later record in the app. However, when we zoom in a bit, we will see that this isn't the case. So if we now focus on this random 5 minute segment of the workout, we indeed see there's a difference between the on-screen heart rate of the Apple Watch Ultra in red and the heart rate as recorded in the Apple Health app in blue. Looking at it, it seems as though the heart rate shown on the watch screen is delayed by some time compared to the heart rate that is finally stored on your phone. And we can see that because the red line is slightly shifted to the right of the blue line. And if we take another random 5 minute segment of the workout, we can see the same thing. Again, we see a shift of the red line compared to the blue line, indicating a delay of the heart rate on the screen of the Apple Watch Ultra compared to the one that is actually stored in the app. Now based on this, I would indeed say that there's a decent chance that there's some delay in how the Apple Watch is showing you your heart rate on the screen compared to what is actually being recorded in the health app. The next step is of course to quantify exactly how big this delay is. However, before we can draw any conclusions, we want to be scientific and do several checks. We should first of all redo this experiment several times to make sure that the results are consistent. And second, let's also check if we get the same results for other exercises like cycling and weightlifting. However, before we look at that, I'm actually curious to see if the heart rate as it was recorded by an ECG reference device actually agrees better with the live heart rate on the screen or the heart rate as it was recorded in the health app. So let's take a look. And those results are displayed right here. In green, we now have the measurements of the reference device. And in red, we still have the heart rate that was displayed on the Apple Watch Ultra screen. And in blue, the Apple Watch Ultra's heart rate as it was stored in the Apple Health app. As a reference device, I'll use an ECG chest strap from Polar called the H10. Now the Polar H10 has been used in quite a few scientific studies and it was actually shown to be more reliable for heart rate tracking during medium intensity exercises than a professional scientific Holter ECG monitor. As you can see the green line of the reference device and the blue line of the Apple Watch heart rate stored in the health app overlap almost perfectly, which actually means we cannot see much of the blue line since the green one is so perfectly on top of it. Again, the red line that indicates the heart rate on the Apple Watch screen is shifted to the right compared to both the blue and the green line. Now on the one hand, this does confirm that the heart rate measurements reported by the Apple Watch Ultra and the Health app are very similar to measurements taken with an ECG reference device, which is good, but also that the live heart rate on the Apple Watch screen appears to be lagging behind. And if we switch to another part of the ride, we indeed see the same thing. There does appear to be a shift in the live heart rate on the Apple Watch display. And again, there's an almost perfect overlap between the heart rate reported by the Apple Watch Ultra in the app and the ECG reference device. Now before replicating this experiment, I do quickly want to see by how many seconds the heart rate is actually delayed. And to do that, we're going to shift the heart rate as it was recorded on the screen until we get the best fit with the Apple Watch Ultra's heart rate stored in the health app. But of course we will not do this by hand and instead we will use something called the cross correlation which automatically checks for the best shift and those results are displayed here where we have the shift in seconds along the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis is the agreement between the heart rate stored in the Apple Health app and the live heart rate measurements on the Apple Watch screen. So the higher these black bars the better the agreement. And we can see the highest bar right here at 5 seconds. Now this means that the best fit is found when we shift back the live on-screen heart rate by 5 seconds. So that indicates that the on-screen heart rate on the Apple Watch Ultra might lag behind the real heart rate about 5 seconds. Now 5 seconds might not sound like much, but try counting 5 Mississippis out loud and you'll notice it's longer than you might have thought. So let's listen to some elevator music together for 5 seconds and get a feeling for it. Thank you. 
However, of course, you want to confirm these results by replicating this experiment several times. So I did four more indoor cycling sessions while recording my live heart rate. I won't show you all of the results, but in general, I found a similar shift during all five spinning workouts. And here you can see an example segment for the third workout. Again, the red line that represents the live on-screen heart rate is shifted to the right, meaning there indeed appears to be a delay. And we see this same thing for this example from the fourth training session. Again, the red line is shifted, so we see an apparent similar delay in heart rate on the screen of the Apple Watch Ultra. However, the one thing I was a bit worried about is that the timestamps on the GoPro images were wrong by a few seconds, and this would explain the reason for the apparent delay and that the Apple Watch Ultra was actually correct after all. Now I have this old GoPro Hero 5, which I synced with my phone right before each workout to make sure that the timestamps were correct, but who knows, it might be off for some reason. So I decided to buy a new GoPro, especially for this experiment, so I could also test it with a second GoPro. And I was honestly quite hyped for my new GoPro Hero 11 to arrive when one of my friends said to me, why don't you just compare the time on the Apple Watch screen to the one in the timestamps of your images? You have this recorded in your images, right? <sighs> and yes, at this point, I really wondered how anyone could have ever given me my doctoral degree. So like my friend said, in the upper right corner of the Apple Watch screen is the time displayed while working out. So I looked at the timestamps of the images and I checked if the time as it was recorded on the Apple Watch Ultra screen switched to the next full minute when it was supposed to. And this was luckily generally the case. And for the few workouts where it wasn't the case, I corrected this and this made my results even more consistent. And here you can see an overview of those calculated lags of the on-screen Apple Watch Ultra heart rate for all five spinning sessions. We see the five spinning sessions along the horizontal axis and the seconds that the heart rate was shifted for each of them along the vertical axis. As you can see, there's always a lag between three and five seconds of the live workout heart rate compared to the one that is finally reported in the health app. So these results seem to be quite consistent so far. However, I did do one workout as well with my new GoPro Hero 11, just to make sure that the results are the same when I use a new camera and not at all so I use it in this video and it becomes tax deductible. Remember, I do everything I do for science. And those results are now included here for spinning session number six. Again, the lag in live on-screen workout heart rate is about four seconds. So this really appears to be a consistent results with all replicates showing a similar lag in heart rate. Looking at these results so far, it seems to me that the only difference between the heart rate displayed on the Apple Watch Ultra screen on one hand and the one reported in the health app on the other hand is a lag of some seconds, but there's no significant difference in the actual heart rate patterns that are detected. However, let's see if we get the same results for workouts that are generally more difficult to track. And let's start with cycling outside. However, first a quick side note. If you're interested in the latest updates on the wearables I'm testing, I'm planning to start back up with my newsletter and posting more off the cuff things on my Instagram and my YouTube Shorts channel. So if you're interested in any of those, those are linked below. Of course, you would also make me really happy and it would help my efforts if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. But of course, this is totally up to you. Now enough self-promotion, let's look at the results for cycling outside. And those results are displayed right here, with again the heart rate recorded on the Apple Watch Ultra screen in red and those stored in the health app in blue. But before getting into the details of these results, I should mention that getting these measurements actually wasn't as easy as it was before, since my GoPro mounting design actually wasn't as stable as I had hoped. Often when there was a bump in the road, the GoPro camera would shift and it would lose the correct position. So I had to cycle with just one hand for this ride and hold the other up to prevent major shifts of the GoPro position. And even then the actual images that were recorded had a lot of glare in the Apple Watch screen, making text recognition impossible for most of them. So in order to do the analysis, I actually went through hundreds of these images manually and wrote down the heart rate in an Excel sheet. And if we again take a look at those results, we see a nice overlap between the heart rate patterns of the live display and those stored in the Apple Health app. However, if we zoom into a five minute segment, we see a similar delay to before. The red line indicating the live heart rate is again shifted to the right of the blue line, indicating the one stored in the health app, which we can confirm by looking at a different segment of the ride itself, where we consistently see this shift. However, luckily the actual patterns in heart rate are still very similar. 
Finally, I also wanted to confirm these results for one of the hardest exercises to track your heart rate, namely weightlifting. Now, I performed a short lifting session, but again, the image quality was not great because of the changing light conditions and also the camera shifted position sometimes. So I had to go through hundreds of images manually again to get the heart rates out, which was becoming kind of tedious by this point. Anyway, here are those results. We again see that the heart rate patterns between the heart rate on the display in red and the one reported on your phone in blue are very similar. There's just again this slight delay between the two, very similar to what we saw for the other workouts. And if we now take a look at all of the results at the same time, we see that the lag in seconds again here on the vertical axis always appears to be similar no matter what workout I select. The average lag is about 4 to 5 seconds, which isn't that much, but also not that little. Now I should mention that some delay in reporting live heart rate while you're working out is probably inevitable, since you need to have at least one or two heartbeats to actually calculate a heart rate. However, I did compare it to the live heart rate as it was reported by my ECG chest strap, and the ECG chest strap did not show such a clear delay. Now based on this, I would conclude that at least theoretically it should be possible to decrease the delay that the Apple Watch has. But why should you actually care? Does a lag of a few seconds really matter? Well, for most people, it probably doesn't. If you're going to do a normal cardio workout, your heart rate is probably not going to change that fast, so a delay of a few seconds is not going to be noticeable. Where it actually might matter is for people that are doing really short intervals and they want to check their heart rate during their peak exertion. So it really depends on your personal situation. In general, I do think it's just good to be aware that there's likely a lag in the on-screen heart rate detection and you can decide for yourself if this matters for your use case. On the other hand, I am happy to see that there doesn't appear to be a significant reprocessing of the heart rate signals, and that if you account for the lag, the Apple Watch is still one of the most accurate heart rate trackers out there, even when looking at the live heart rate on your screen. The Apple Watch Ultra is also a great sleep tracker, which makes it one of the best overall trackers on the market. By the way, if you want to buy an Apple Watch, another device, or anything at all on Amazon for that matter, even something as small as toilet paper, and at the same time support the channel, there are different affiliate links in the description below that do not cost you any extra, and some even provide a discount. Now, since you watched this video, I guess that you have some interest in the Apple Watch Ultra. In that case, I would recommend this video on the Apple Watch Ultra right here, where I do deep dives in the Apple Watch Ultra and its performance. Some Huawei watches are a good alternative for people on Android, and those videos are displayed right here. Now, thank you so much for watching, and catch you in the next video.